Let us now continue the exploration of the Cordova plugins that we're going to use in this course. We are now going to look at two different plugins that enable us to notify the user. Along the way, you also learn how to, uh, to install the plugins and then make use of the corresponding NG Cordova wrappers within your application. So we'll look at the local notification plugin, which enables your application to put a notification into the device's notification bar. We realize that both iOS and Android support notifications being delivered to the user through the notification bar. Each has its own way of delivering notifications, but the notification plugin will appropriately adapt to the specific features of the underlying native platform in delivering the notification. The Cordova plugin provides us with a unified way of specifying the information that needs to be put in the notification. That's the first um, Cordova plugin that we're going to explore. In our uh, exercise, we'll use this plugin for putting up a notification when the user adds an item into his or her favorites. Similarly, we'll also use a Toast plugin. The Toast plugin enables you to show a short message on the screen for the user. We can control the duration and the location where the message is displayed. The second plugin also enables us to deliver notifications to the user. So that's the reason why we consider these two plugins together. In the exercise, we'll make use of both of them together to notify the user. Putting a notification into the notification bar is a very appropriate way of getting the information to the attention of the user. By putting a notification to the notification bar, you are informing the user of something that the application wishes to deliver to the user. Perhaps it's a message, perhaps it's a way of alerting the user. The Cordova local notification um, plugin makes use of the native capabilities corresponding to each of the native platforms that it addresses, be it iOS or Android. And uh, the corresponding Cordova plugin can be installed by calling this particular Cordova plugin here. Um, so uh, this enables us to make use of the notifications plugin within our application. Now that the Cordova notification plugin is installed, how do we make use of it within our Ionic application? There is a corresponding ng Cordova wrapper around it. The corresponding services name is Cordova Local Notification. We can inject this service into our controller and then make use of the service to call the function. In this particular example, we are calling the schedule function to deliver the notification. Now, some of the properties of the notification are specified here. You can specify the ID of the notification, the title, and the text. You can even specify when the notification should be delivered. So you could deliver the notification at a specific point of time. You can deliver multiple notifications. You can also update a, an existing notification that has already been put into the notification bar. All these features are allowed by the Cordova plugin and the NG Cordova wrapper. Now, so once the notification is delivered, then there is a promise that is returned within which, if you so wish, you could handle additional um, capabilities. So in this uh, example, I'm just putting a message into the console to inform the user that the notification has been properly delivered. A second related plugin to the notification uh, is the Cordova Toast plugin. The Toast plugin enables us to pop up a short message onto the user's screen and uh, can specify the duration and the location where this message is popped up on the screen. So it just flashes this message onto the screen to bring it to the attention 
of the user. The Toast plugin is supported by the corresponding Cordoba plugin that we identify there. So that's how you in, uh, install the Cordova plugin and then later on make use of it using the corresponding ng Cordova wrapper. The corresponding ng Cordova wrapper for this plugin is called Cordova Toast. So we insert this Cordova Toast service into our Angular application and then call the show um, method in order to show the message on the screen. So in this example, we have specified the duration as long and the location as center. You can either specify the duration as short or long and the location as top, bottom or center of the screen. And also this returns a corresponding um, uh, promise within which you can handle additional capabilities if you so wish. Now we will move on to our next exercise where we use both these approaches to add in the ability for our application to inform the user. When the user adds an item into his or her favorite dishes, then we put a, plug, a notification into the um, notification bar and also pop up a toast message on the screen to inform the user that the favorite has been properly marked. So let's go ahead with the next exercise.